Federalism is a system in which the governmental power is divided between a central authority and its various constituent units. For example, Belgium has a federal form of government, whereas countries like Sri Lanka and the UK have a unitary system of government. Under a unitary system, there is only one level of government. There may be subunits like state governments, but they are under the absolute subordination of the central government. Under the federal system, there are two or more tiers or levels of government. The central government, the state government, and as an exception in India, a third tier or local self-government. However, in federalism, each tier has its own jurisdiction in specific matters of legislation, taxation and administration. Jurisdiction is the legal authority and can be defined in terms of geographical area. Federalism provides constitutional guarantees for the existence and authority of each tier of government. In addition, the basic provisions of the constitution cannot be unilaterally changed by one tier of government. Such changes require the approval of both tiers of the government. Every level is free in its own way to impose taxes and raise funds through remunerative enterprises. However, the sources of revenue for each tier are also clearly specified. An independent judiciary is the very essence of federalism. The courts have the power to interpret the constitution and the powers of the different tiers of government. The highest court of the land acts as an arbitrator in case of a dispute between different tiers of government. Federalism has the dual objectives of promoting unity of the country and recognizing regional diversity by way of mutual trust and agreement of living together. The balance of power between the center and state governments can vary from federation to federation. It depends mainly on the historical context in which the federation was formed. There are two ways in which federations can be formed coming together federations and holding together federations. In the coming together federations, independent states come together on their own to form a bigger unit, so that by pooling sovereignty and retaining identity, they can increase their security. USA, Switzerland and Australia are examples of coming together federations. In these countries, all the constituent states usually have equal power and are strong vis-à-vis -vis the federal government. On the other hand, in holding together federations, a large country decides to divide its power between the constituent states and the national government. India, Spain and Belgium are examples of holding together federations. In this type of federation, the central government tends to be more powerful with regard to the states. The different constituent units of the federation too may have unequal powers. For example, Jammu Kashmir in India has been granted special status.